Ooh, plenty of supplies. Okay. Let's see, I got some skill points to spend. Hmm, comfortable trader, machine master. Let's do some of the hunter stuff. Spread shot for bolt caster. Like a secondary firing mechanism. Hmm. Might as well. That has been unlocked. Ranged Master. So if I wanted to swap out my Valor Surges, how would I do so? He'll probably tell me. Hmm. Valor Surge toughened. Alright, let's restock up on our Steer. Alright, everything's restocked. <clears throat> so would I have to go to skills maybe? Let's see. Ah, you have to equip it. Ranged master. Could do that. Hmm. Increases weapon damage by 45%. Health recovery per hit is 7%. Weapon technique damage, 20%. And weapon stamina regeneration. Ooh. Let's equip that for now. <clears throat> it's blazing. Got some new coils. <clears throat> Shadow in the West. That looks like it's going to be... Well... Hmm. And there's Rebel Camps. So Death's Door. My current main mission. Shadow in the West is a side mission, including the Bristlebacks. Which now I can do! <clears throat> so we'll select that one to do, since that was an ongoing one. So we have upgrade stuff. Then salvage. Oh, I could probably do that now. Hmm. And then there's a rebel camp that we can eventually tackle. <clears throat> a shav, which sadly died. Regala, which is the new threat. Hmm, advanced traversal options. Oh, so we can we can combine certain traversal options to go into a glide. Slow motion shot. So grapple, jump, and then fire and slow motion shot. <clears throat> so they made that a little bit more advanced, which is kind of cool. Special gear, shield wing, and mount call, which we know. I don't know, it still says the collectibles have something. Whatever. Yeah, I think we need to go over there. 256 paces that way. Kind of makes me wonder if I need to... Yeah, let's use our uh, glider. See how it goes. It Ooh, that's so cool. I like how she noticed, like, it might not work, but I'll do it. Okay. Guess I can leave 
scrape off just about any cliff now. Oh. <coughs> uh, scavengers. Let's see. I don't know if I need to go around this. Must be the salvagers I met in Barren Light. Looks like something's going on. Huh. Might as well talk to these guys. Oh, those are tanks. You really think you can do that? Karuf, come on. You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? If it isn't the savior of Meridian and of my very own operation. Laren, say hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. Oh, nasty business. What the Tanakh did back at the embassy. But everyone in Baron Light is thankful you drove them off. So this is your salvage operation. You won't find a better place to trade machine parts in the West. And soon okay. you'll be trading in more than just that. For too long, the West has been, well, forbidden. Dangerous. But... What if I told you we could make an armor so tough, so infallible, that oh. you never have to worry about survival out here again? Oh, I'm listening. I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> and that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Hmm. It's cool. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chain Scrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got to help me. <laughs> what are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it, but none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts, and fast. Mm. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. Shell walkers. Oh, the crabs. It'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. Okay. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. I'll do it anyway. All right. <clears throat> so that's a salvage contract. And then we have our rebel camps. We got two of them. Convoy ambush. And our main stuff. Let's keep working on that bristleback one. Contract before going on the hunt. Yeah. See what? <laughs> the contracts are contracts, you know. God damn, this game is beautiful. One second. I think I hear Freya causing a ruckus. She knows. She knows she's not supposed to do it. Scan the area to see what I'm up against. And 
tag any rebels or machines in my focus to keep track of them. Okay. Is this the rebel post? Ah, so I'm gonna take care of two things at once. So rebel camp. The Bristleback stuff. Mark him. Mark you. Shock could do a lot of damage. Mm. Let's see, it looks like it's just these guys. So, if there are bristlebacks in the pens, maybe I can release them? Hmm. Hmm. That looks like an opening I can get through. Just gotta wait for him to pass. Okay, I'm in. Why did we have to stay behind to guard Tame? To clear machines? out this place, be out there fighting. Around. Someone needs to keep an eye on them. Regala will run us through if we lose anymore. It wasn't our fault. The ground opened up out of nowhere. Huh. See if she cares for that excuse. Well, doesn't look like in silence strike this guy. <clears throat> shit, shit, shit. So is that breakable? Trying to break the pen. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, they apparently do notice me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, here we go. Ow. Yeah. Ragala! Yes. Give them support. Yeah. Goes your mount, you asshole. Nice. All right, still a dude over there. Don't make me come look for you. Don't make me come look for you. Right in the, right in the dome. Pens, not that many machines. Okay. Where'd they all go? Better check in that cave. Right in the chrome dome. Stash later. All right. Let's get all these goodies. Okay. 
Goody, goody, goody. Mm, sounds like there's some conflict going on. Let's see. Sky Drifter site? <clears throat> Sounds violently merry. Violently merry. Sounds like it's like right over that ridge. another section of it. Like most of this is just gonna be healing herbs. That's the rest of the scavenging. We're definitely good on Ridgewood. <laughs> the drawbridge. Across. All right, we could just climb across because there's multiple ways of getting there. We probably have to do that because drawbridge probably doesn't work for us, at least on this end. Who knows? There's other stuff here, too. Ooh. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. That's <laughs> a strong, a strong current, man. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there's something over there. Let's see if this end of the oh you're probably at the lower both sides so it doesn't look like this is gonna lower the other side yeah all right so we have to go to the other side Bridge. <clears throat> drop the other side yeah grab that scanning the bridge with my focus might show me something I don't need it. Looks like there are a couple of weak points. Oh, uh, we could shoot it. Ropes attached to the bridge. Or we could just do this. We don't need to break the bridge. Bridge is down. Okay. Explosives created the sinkhole. I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. Ah, that means we have the fast travel. Anything there? There's something right there. Small valuable cash. Oh, green silver. Well, fuck that. I'm gonna support this place first. I'm gonna get that green sliver. These are apparently 
incredibly important. Nice. Positive green shine. Or green, yeah, green shine sliver. Okay, that might be it. I don't think there's any. Ooh, there is something down there though. It's valuable. I just wanted to grab it. <laughs> Alright, now how to get back up. Right through this way. Oh, how to get back out. I think I see something. Oop. This is a good point. How do we get back out? Oh. Ah, all right. This works. <clears throat> all right, let's see if there's a nearby campfire. I don't think this will provide a campfire. That's probably what I'm hearing is that rebel camp over there. Uh, it's like the closest campfire is right here, so I'll just mark it. I think. Yeah. It's the only closest campfire I know of. So that means I should probably get my mounts. Why are you over there? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, you know what? Can I jump? So I just want to get down to the river area, but... Mm. Just have to get off of it and call it somewhere else. Oh, I want me. I can set it to my stash. It's also not too far away, so. There we go. Still need to do that. Hmm. So that's further up that way. <coughs> uh, am I stuck in... What the hell's going on? Oh, I'm stuck in, uh, what you call it? Uh, the cor corruption... Bl blight. We'll save and then we'll go way over here.
Okie dokie. Let's see. I think I know who I need to talk to. So, you've returned from the west. <laughs> Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun. And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvent here. Petra, too. Oh, yes, Petra takes uh, command. <laughs> That's probably harsh stuff. <laughs> Facial. Hopefully, Petra takes the post. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the bristleback incursion. Tanakh the rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja. I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvund. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the bristlebacks caused. All of it. My dear magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> Bullshit. Evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. And you almost drowned your other miners and sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? Uh, what <laughs> if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... Nope, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. <laughs> You think she can run this scorched out? Oh, yeah. Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out. Oh, no! Don't want you. No! Don't need you. Down with all my... Get off me. Mud looks good on you, Alvin. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow... Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Oh, yeah. Please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. Hell yeah. Peace be with the settlement. <laughs> Chain scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. Hell yeah. I was kind of hoping for it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's 
Put some more in infiltrator, stealth tear. Ooh, that'd be nice. And stealth ranged plus, so 10% more damage while doing stealth damage. Ranged attacks. And then we could do silent strike heal. Ooh, I like it. Okay. The low profile passive boost looks like slightly less visible. Ooh, that'd be nice. Smoke bomb capacity. I can make smoke bombs and quiet movement. Move more quietly, reducing the chance of detection by enemies, which I've kind of noticed they've been kind of hearing me anytime I try and get up to them. So that'd be nice. Ooh, wait, got an extra weapon. Strong arm hunter bow. <clears throat> So that's a hunter bow, and where's the, and that's my other hunter bow. So it's not going to do quite as much right now, but I'm kind of wondering if I upgrade it. Oh, uh, look, what was the passives on that? So perk overdraw damage, 30%. This has no perks. So if I upgrade it, I also get critical hit chance. And of course, one slot of coil. Let's go to a workbench. Let's see, where am I? About time he went crawling back to whatever damn hole. Hmm. What well, needs upgrading? Point. Looks like this one. So food pouch. Cool. All right, <clears throat> so all those have assigned jobs, and not really wearing it. Oh yeah, or champion, increase resistances. Mm -hmm. Do that. Stealth ranged and also concentration goes up. Need, it looks like I need long neck circulator. Circulator. <laughs> circulator. Circulator. <clears throat> and. Uh, oh, wait. Long leg, not long neck. Long leg and a long leg wing burner. And I can upgrade this one, the strong arm hunter bill. That will unlock the critical hit chance. And then I'll need a claw, yeah, claw strider, razor tail, which I don't know what a claw strider is yet. Or maybe I do, I just don't, I just don't reckon. I don't reckon. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I can fully upgrade this one now. Cool, so that's been fully upgraded. And, okay, and that's the one I'm working on. Doesn't look like I can upgrade anything else, but we have upgraded mass majority. <clears throat> Let's go to inventory. So that does 28 to 60 tear and 23 to 46. So I have to figure out like which ones I would like to use. The thing is though, this one will give me cr like the acid arrows, which is gives me more versatility. But I have a feeling this one will have an overall better damage rate. Especially if we do critic, you know, we get critical hits. Snore Champion is a 19 by 2. Oh, wow, it already has better resistance when it comes to melee damage. And it has ice resistance. And 
haven't unlocked the stealth tear or a weave slot yet. But I think once I upgrade it one more time, I might actually try and uh I actually try and do it. Let's see, do I have Okay no. Hmm. Keep this on for now until I upgrade the champion. <clears throat> Deep water kind of weed. I have a feeling that's gonna be bugged until it <laughs> until we get another collectible. Shipping manifest. Convoy ambush. 9.5. 3-5%. Getting there, boys. We're getting there. <clears throat> Alright. So, what's our next quest? So we have another side quest, which is Shadow in the West, which is actually pretty damn far away. Let's look at the map. Ooh! So go to the Eclipse Hideout coordinates. So that looks like it's going to be quite the travel. Maybe we can hold off on that for a second. Let's see that on the map? No. All right. Jobs, of course, are passive. Uh, salvage contract. I could probably do that. Of course, rebel camps. And Death's Door, it's coordinates received from the Spire, uh, which that is a pretty nasty distance too, but it probably wouldn't hurt doing it. Hmm. I guess I, sh I should try and get to the first long neck so we can open up the map a little. Let's do a fast travel. So we'll do a quick little fast travel. We'll go all the way to that. And that's the closest campfire right now. So we'll travel there. All right, so let's go to that. Let's get to that long neck. It's actually nighttime now. Ooh, look at the stars, baby. Stars and the clouds. No light pollution. Did I ever say this game's like fucking gorgeous? Just <laughs> wanted to say it again. I'm probably gonna say it like a. You know, another 5,000 times before I'm done with this game. It truly is. So I don't know if you've climbed a... Long neck yet in this one. Well, this will be my first long neck. I'm gonna see if it's pretty similar. I'm not back for you. I'm just traveling. Well, there's a fox. You did? Cool. So this should whoa. There's a lot of ancient wrecks out here. Must have been a huge battle. We got some flying enemies. I gave everything they had to slow down the Pharaoh's one. To buy Zero Dawn time. It looks like the rebels have a camp in addition to those machine pens. I should see what they're up to. They've got 
Riders patrolling the area. Gotta be careful. Hmm, there's a lot going on. We must be finding a lot of things. <laughs> Just trying to get to this long neck for Come right across. There he is. Overriding it should give me data on the surrounding area. Let's actually get off of our mount just in case we need to. Alright, let's see. There's these. What are those? Sky Drifter. Might want to climb pretty fast. Looks like he's about to pass by. Or. Oh shit, yeah, it's gonna be a bit. Uh, maybe I have to climb that, what used to be a satellite dish? And then jump to him? There's our beautiful Talmex! Alright, looks like I don't want to be scanned by that guy. If I can climb it, I should be able to reach that tall neck easily enough. Well, of course. <clears throat> Shit. Does it see me? Can't really tell. Ah, shit, I missed it. Okay, it's calling for... Ooh. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, whoa, well, that's a different type of attack. you. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh yeah. We're weak against ice. Go. Jack ass. I can keep going. All right. Let's scavenge this bad boy. Sky Drifter. I'm gonna have to find a better way to fight them. I'm gonna have to just scan one and study it real quick, like. Scanning unit. Uh, looks like some more scrappers are in the area now. That is actually really cool. I think they did that in the first game where if you defeat certain creatures, scrappers and stuff like that will start to come into the area. Yeah, it looks like I heard of them. Restock on arrows and bombs. Set. Do that. And those are good. Alright. It's power generator. Eyes to the heaven. Huh. Uh, 
Uh, I'm guessing that's a document. Eyes to the heaven. Let's see, I guess we can't power this thing. Unless there's some wires that go somewhere. Looks like it goes up there. Can't jump to that ladder. Oh, I can shoot it. Yeah. Shortcut. Nice little shortcut just in case I need to climb up here once more. Let's see, what do I need to do now? I don't think I can jump to him yet. Well, there was a ladder. <laughs> I don't think I can climb that. How close does he get here? Not too close enough. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to find a way to power generator in order to maybe rotate the uh, rotate the thing. Yeah, it looks like I can't do this yet. Hmm. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, that didn't hurt. <laughs> wonder if I hit it with something shock-wise? So there's a tall neck. What's that stuff over there? Looks like caches. Hey, General, what are you? Grab that. Oh, looks like a red fox. Red fox died in the scuffle. Oh, yeah, it looks real pretty. <laughs> Finally, a game I can compare with, like, Ghost of Tsushima and all that when it comes to how gritty <laughs> games can get. Oh yeah, if you're a fan of the first one too, you're going to want to play it. So I wonder if this ladder actually goes down to something. Ah, oh, that's probably what I need to do. Jump to ledge. Ah, that's probably the thing I need to get to. I thought the uh, ladder was a shortcut, but never mind. If you're a fan of the first one, then you're going to love this one. Because it's an improvement in every way so far. Oh. Uh, so I need to drop down and put this in the generator. I mean, look at that. The light bounces off, hits her skin, illuminates her, illuminates the surrounding and her hands. Bet this power cell can get it running. Power's back. I should check that console I found earlier. Oh, yeah. Let's see what this thing does. Oh, of course it isn't. 
as a PS4 version. <laughs> but it still probably looks pretty and still runs pretty well. Just remember, though, if you're going to get Horizon Forbidden West, get the PS4 version because you'll get it for $60 or $10, $10 cheaper than getting the PS5 version, and you'll get the PS5 version for free. So don't forget about that. So if you plan on getting it sometime in the future, do that. I think that's the only way to get the free digital. Thank you. All right, here we go. Um, uh oh, yeah, it's moving. Let's see. Do I need to shoot that? Ah, uh, I need to shoot it. They change the focus? Uh, maybe a little bit of the look of it, but it still... It still does the... Like, just like the first game, it still has two functions. You can pulse, kind of scan the area immediate to you. So you can still do the pulse. And then you can do uh, overlong focus. Prolong focusing. So the focus is still here. I think it's actually been improved. I should be able to get to that tall neck now. All right. So, um, maybe this is the right spot. Ooh. And I just got this tool. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you get skill points for it too. All right, I'm gonna put these skill points into warrior. Let's see, nor warrior. Oh yeah, I get to unlock some more combo. Combo wombo. Yeah, they have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six skill trees. This has 26, 27, 29, 29. 20 and 31. <laughs> There's a lot to invest in. <laughs> hmm, critical strike plus 20%, ooh, 25% more damage. Uh, resonator blast. Looks like I can deal more damage with the resonator blast. I'll do that. And melee damage boost. Looks like it's passive. Deal more damage with light and heavy attacks. 30% more damage. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, man. So Dying Light 2 and this game? It, yeah, this, this month has been fairly busy. And not to mention, in about, let's see, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday... So in about like two, two and a half days, um, Elden Ring's coming out too. Oh Lord, <laughs> what are we gonna do? Laura and I have pretty much told ourselves though that we're gonna actually wait on Elden Ring until we want to get another game after, of course, Horizon. So Elden Ring might be the next one. That or it's gonna be Ghostwire Tokyo, depending on how that game does. Uh, the next game that I'm really excited for, though, is uh, Shadow Warrior 3. Uh, that one comes out on the 1st of next month, and I'm 
man, it's going to be a good game. <laughs> I really hope so. Cross my fingers. If it's anything like any of the improvements they did with uh, Shadow Warrior 2 and all that, then I'm, I'm, I'm going to be down for that game. I know. This is, this is a terrible month for any gamer's wallet. And, and the next month, and probably the month after. But yeah, February in general, though, is the hardest month this year when it comes to everyone's wallets. And we got two of the games. We got Dying Light 2, and of course we got uh, you know, Horizon Forbidden West. So <laughs> we're kind of hurting. A little bit. I was spent at least a good $120. Ooh, yeah, it hurts. Minimum of $120 on two games. We usually hardly ever buy games uh, new. But uh, th this year has been so jam-packed with like really good games. It's like, we already played one of them. And that one is, of course, Dying Light 2, which was good. It was really good. I you know I gave it a four out of five, uh, pretty much the same score as the first one. It's it, it's just a little bit above average, but man, just like the first one, it has plenty of bugs. Uh, the climbing can be incredibly frustrating and non-responsive at times. So just like the first one, it still has its issues. But I do have to say there has been some general improvements when it comes to the first game. And there has been some changes that are kind of 50-50 when it comes to Dying Light 2. So there are going to be some changes when you start playing Dying Light 2 that you might agree with or disagree with. Uh, including like, you know, some of how the weapons are handled when it comes to like repairs and mods. Or the fact that they've added more of an RPG... I'm going to quote that quote-unquote RPG system to the gear which is not that important <laughs> it really isn't it's such a minute thing that some people might like it some people like me don't really see too much of a difference when they're playing so it's like yeah maybe late late game in dying light 2 but yeah uh death store oh yeah death store hey death store is a good game apparently I, I still need to play it. I'm probably going to stream Death Store once I get... Once I open the floodgates to play other games. For right now, it's Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs> so, that, that... I don't think... I'm trying to think if there's any... Did we unlock that campfire? I guess all these campfires have been locked. So this one, this one, and then there's a campfire over here. Campfire over here. Holy shit. Now that I did that uh, tall neck, I got all this. All this. And the thing is, it probably doesn't show you side quests until you get to certain locations like settlements and unknown locations and a Karja camp. That might have side quests, but you can't see if there's side quests until you get to it. You just know there's a location there. So... We got a lot to do. <laughs> this game is a, apparently they said it's around like 25 to 35 hours or something like that. But if you're going to do what I'm about to do, it's 50 hours and up. Maybe I say 50 hours and up because I don't think anyone's beaten this game yet and done, has done 100%. This game literally came out last Thursday. So yeah, fuck you if you're a person that says you've done everything in the game. Uh, you're lying. <laughs> you're absolutely lying. So that's all I have to say when it comes to those people. Uh, there is one thing I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and finish the salvage contract. Well, uh, hmm, not that one. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, tall tax. So we did those. There is a... Not that one, not that one... It's not a job. I think it... No, it's not an errand either. What is the... Where's the lady that wants the lenses? Is there this one? A group of that. Requires planning a... So, shell. so that's the shell walker one. Oh, it might 